We just got back from 11 nights on Silver Sea Silver Ray, and we're about to leave for a 16-night transatlantic on Sun Princess. Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Cruise Update. This is August 26th, 2024. So I'm just going to update you a little bit of what's going on. We just got back from our cruise aboard Silver Sea Silver Ray. Had an amazing time. In fact, when I get done with this video, I'm, I've got my notes here. I'm going to, a lot of notes I might add. I'm going to be doing my video review of Silver Ray. It's going to take me a few days to get it all put together. So as you can see, I've got three or four pages. i got six, actually six pages of notes. So a lot, we're going to cover a lot. It's going to be a long video, but we'll have chapter markers so you can skip ahead if you need to and skip certain sections. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Sun Princess. And for those of you out there that are Princess loyal cruisers. I'm going to ask for your help. We have been on four or five Princess cruises, so it's not like we're unfamiliar with the brand. But what makes this cruise a little bit different for us, and let me give you a little bit of background and tell you kind of the whole story, because we always are up front and tell you everything. As you may know, we're journalists. We're media, cruise media, cruise journalists. We get invited on a lot of cruises where the cruise line invites us and they basically cover the cost of the cruise. Some of you have a problem with that. Some of you say, I don't know if we can trust a review from somebody that doesn't pay for the cruise. I would say don't trust a review from anybody, period, whether they paid for their cruise or whether somebody invited them as a guest. But that's just my cynicism. I don't trust anything anybody says. I, I try to get a broad uh, range of views and opinions and rev and then I you know you can usually come to some consensus on what everybody says now some people say well the reason we don't trust it is because you don't want to say anything negative about that cruise ship or that cruise line because uh, they won't invite you back again and we've had that happen to us I mean we tell you pretty much like it is we don't whether we pay for the cruise or not we're going to tell you what we like, what we don't like. Now, we do it diplomatically. So let me tell you a little bit about the Sun Princess cruise, because originally Ricky wanted to go on a cruise and she wanted to go on a longer, like a transatlantic cruise. Most cruise lines, not all, but most cruise lines, if they're going to invite media or if, you, if we do a media sailing, it will be maybe seven, ten days, but not necessarily a transatlantic. It depends on the cruise line. We have done media sailings transatlantic, but when we reached out to Princess about a media sailing, the only thing they were offering was, I think it was going to be a seven-night sailing after the ship got back into Fort Lauderdale, but Ricky wanted to do a transatlantic. So originally, Last year, we started looking at a celebrity cruise because we really did enjoy uh, Celebrity Beyond, Celebrity Apex, and the new Ascend had come out. Ascent, I'm sorry. And we had booked a cruise on Celebrity Ascent uh, because Ricky wanted to be able to pick her suite. She wanted to be able to stay in a sky suite because she wanted the butler service and all this. So we were just going to pay for the cruise. So we put up the deposit and then just right, you know, not long after we had put up the deposit, uh, Celebrity changed the deal. They changed the deal. They came out and said no more butler service in the Sky Suites. Um, there were a couple other changes. And it, it was unclear whether or not since we had booked before these changes, well, we knew we weren't going to get the butler service, which is part of what we wanted. It felt like that's part of what we were paying for. You know, we debated back and forth for two or three weeks and finally just decided to cancel it. And just uh, we were within the period where I don't think we lost. We might have lost a few hundred dollars, but we didn't lose the whole amount because we just put up a deposit. We may have lost our deposit, come to think of it. I can't remember now. Um, so we were just kind of disappointed that Celebrity changed the deal like that. 
So then we start looking at other options. Uh, Sun Princess was coming out and we thought, well, maybe we'll do a transatlantic on Sun Princess and check out maybe these new cabana mini suites, whatever. So we were went ahead and booked, uh, put up a deposit with Princess on the cabana mini suite, which we were able to pick our room. Now, it didn't have butler service. Okay, Princess doesn't do that. Uh, it looked very interesting. Lots of intriguing dining venues and things like that. So then Princess starts changing the deal. And uh, it's just starting to look real familiar. And it, you know, here we've put up our deposit. And the, the way the deal changed, at first they got rid of Park 19. Is that what it's called? Park 19 up on the top deck with all the... You know, the ropes course and all that stuff. You know, that wasn't a big deal to us because we're not going to do a lot of that entertainment. It's mostly for kids. It might actually be a good thing for us. Maybe people that have kids that had booked a stateroom went ahead and canceled their cruise and moved to a different ship or something. I don't know. So we'll have to see because we just soon sail with fewer kids. They've started changing this sanctuary and reserve collection, these two different things that want they have a lounge they have a separate restaurant our cabana mini suite was not a reserve or a signature collection stateroom anyway then ricky it, you know we get within 30 days 35 days 40 days i don't know what it was but we start getting this uh, okay you can bid for an upgrade to a higher level of suite accommodation so Ricky gets all excited and she gets online and she looks it up and she puts in a bid for a here again it's a little confusing because one time she put the bid in it was called a Vista suite the next time it was called a penthouse suite but it's the same I think it's the same category sometimes we go to the website and they call it a penthouse suite Sometimes you go to the website, they call it a Vista Suite. I don't know if they've changed the name of that category. I'm not exactly sure. It's hard to find information. Uh, but we, she put in a bid for an upgrade to this, we'll call it a penthouse suite. And in the description of what she's bidding on, it mentions in there that you get all of these sanctuary benefits. We were under the understanding that the sanctuary class, now they've changed it in, starting in October, late after our cruise gets back, that at the end of October, our understanding was signature and reserve were going away and it was going to be replaced with this new sanctuary class. And when you are in the sanctuary class, you get the Princess Premier package included, you get which includes all your gratuities all your drinks all your wi-fi all that stuff we'll talk about that more later but it includes access to the sanctuary which is a kind of an adult only private deck which we absolutely love we really enjoy the sanctuary on the other ships so we were kind of excited wow we're, we're going to be have access if we get the bid if we win this bid and get the upgrade uh, we're actually going to be in the sanctuary so we'll have access to the sanctuary plus we get all this other stuff now we've already got the princess premiere package so and we've already booked dining so about the time all this is happening princess makes another change they say now princess premiere which we had which includes your gratuities your wi-fi Two specialty dining were included, gratuities were included, and a few other things, desserts and things like that, specialty desserts. They, th they changed the deal again. And they, originally, the premier package was $80 a day per person, which on a 16-night cruise is not cheap. But now they've got a deal where if you pay another $10 per day per person, so now $90 per day per person, you get unlimited specialty dining. Well, we had already, not just did we have the premier package with the two specialty dinings, but we had booked two additional specialty dinings that we had paid for. And, you know, we'd already paid it on our credit card. It's already there, 180 bucks for two additional specialty dinings in addition to the two we got for free. 
Well, now we're sitting there thinking, okay, well, if we upgrade to this pr this Premier, I don't know what you call it, the new Premier package, which is another $10 a day, for us, that's $360. Would it be worthwhile for us to upgrade to that? And if we do upgrade to that, do we get refunded for the $180 we paid? Because the new Premier package includes unlimited specialty dining. So we could, if we could get a refund for the 180 that we've already paid for specialty dining, then we could, I know that, do you see my confusion? Okay, but then we could book two or three more specialty dinings that we weren't planning to book because they are kind of expensive. They're $45 a person for these specialty dining venues. So, but there were two or three other specialty dining venues that we, we did want to see, we did want to experience and be able to report back to you. But, you know, this thing's racking up to be a lot of money. We cannot get a clear answer from Princess that we did go ahead, by the way, we did go ahead and upgrade to the, we paid the $360 to upgrade to this new Premier. And we did go in and book all of the specialty dining venues, and they didn't charge us for those. So once we upgraded to that new Premier package, they didn't charge us. But they haven't refunded me for the two venues for person, $180. We haven't got a refund from that. Now, Ricky called and talked to somebody at guest service. I don't know who she talked to. I say guest services. I don't know who it is. Concierge. I don't know what, what they call it. They told her that we have to do this on board the ship. Once we get on board, we go to guest services and we ask for the refund to our shipboard account or however they do it. I don't know. It is so confusing. Uh, if you're a if you're on Sun Princess and you're on this transatlantic or any cruise, are you experiencing this same confusion that we are? Because now I have no doubt. I'm not I'm not complaining yet. I'm not I'm not I know it, you know, I know it's a new ship. I know they have a lot of challenges getting this thing launched. They've made a lot of changes. Apparently some things just weren't thought through very well. Um, and I have every confidence that once we get on board the ship, everything's going to be great. Crew's going to be good. Service will be good because we've always had good experience with Princess. I never have an issue with the onboard part. But what this experience has done, because it's been several years since we've actually gone through the booking process where we actually book a cruise, pay for it ourselves, do the whole process. So it's actually a good experience for us to review and talk about. Because normally, not say normally, but typically, that's all handled by their PR department, their media department. They invite us as media. We get our documents, we get our tickets. Sometimes they cover our air, sometimes we have to book our own airfare. Usually have to book our own pre-cruise hotels and things like that, which we did this time. We got pre-cruise hotel in London. But we miss this part of the process. We don't get to experience this booking part like you do as a typical traditional princess customer. So we're, it's a good experience for us to go through this. Are any of you experienced this same kind of confusion and this same thing? And and the website, the website, when we go look at the bid we put in on this penthouse slash Vista suite, it still shows that we get sanctuary benefits. But I think they've updated the website to reflect what you get later in October, not what you're going to get right now. So it's a little misleading if that's the case. And Ricky talked to somebody at Princess that said, yes, on your cruise, you will not get access to the sanctuary. But yet it says so on the website. We took screenshots of all this because when you're making a decision to bid on a suite and you're looking at all the amenities that you're going to get with that suite, it's a little misleading because it says you're going to get the sanctuary benefits. And if what the guy on the phone, assuming he knows what he's talking about, if what the guy on the phone says is true, we're not going to get all that. So what's going to happen is you're going to spend a few more thousand dollars for this suite. And you're thinking in your mind, you're going to get access to all this stuff. Then you get on board and, you, and they say, oh, no, it doesn't include that. And that's why we took screenshots. 
So it is a little bit frustrating and confusing. And uh, right now we're kind of under the assumption that we're not going to get what the website says we're going to get. I don't know. I can't get a clear answer. I know Ricky's talked to somebody at Princess, but I don't know if they know. I don't know. I don't know if Princess has really thought all this through, and and certainly their website may not be updated to reflect what really is going on. So let me know in the comments down below if you've experienced anything like this. Are we going to get a refund back for those two specialty dinners that we paid for that we should now get included because we upgraded the Premier package to the $90 per day <laughs> upgrade? Uh, just let me know. Just let me know. Okay, that's everything. We're still excited about going. Don't get me wrong. We're really looking forward. And, and if we don't get the upgrade, it's no big deal. We're going to be in our Cabana Mini Suite. I think we're on Deck 14. I'm sure we're going to enjoy that suite just as well, and it'll be a great sailing, and we'll tell you all about the Cabana Mini Suite. We're going to tell you about all these specialty restaurants, We're going to, and we'll tell you exactly what we think of the ship and the cruise. Doesn't matter whether we paid for it or whether Princess invited us, we would have done that anyway. We'll tell you what we love, what we like, what we don't like, and what we think needs to be fixed, if anything. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know when we come out with these new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That really does help our YouTube ranking. So thanks for joining me today. Until I see you uh, on the Silver Ray review, which I'm getting ready to shoot next, uh, I wish you smooth sailing.